Right, John. Nice to see you again, John. Hang fire. Thanks, Matt. Have, yeah. you, have you remember what we talked about in the last video? Trying to, yeah, a bit of warm up. Okay, Did perfect. A bit of warm up before we started. Perfect. Um, we're at Kilio. Uh, I'm just going to play a couple of holes. Matt wants to reassess my game. No pressure. You know, not only reassess my game on course, but he's just sitting there with a the camera. He's not even got, he's not even playing against me. It's so just me hitting duff shots. You might not see me, but you might hear me on this one. Uh, but again, we're going to do this in between lessons. So the important thing here, I think, John, I was just talking into the camera, was the fact that, yes, I want to see where you are. Okay. Get off the ranges, which we are a little bit weather bound on. Although we yeah. are on mats. Yeah, you're on a mat on off the tee, tee off, anyway. but then we're off the grass on proper greens when we go around. Um, but just to see where you are. Okay. And then if I have to disappear off, you can then carry on. Yep. and assess it and then hopefully in between lessons this afternoon we can uh, have another little chat okay but again a lot of this video might be sped up but here we are watching you play golf basically okay. so this is hole one which matt might go over to now um i'm assuming this is from the yellows it's 382 yards it is and tough and tough well it's kind of tough isn't it I thought probably do, but yeah, go and have another go. Another have another day. go, yeah. So, first hole 382 yards. Have a couple of practice swings, John, while I'm just showing everyone where we was. And in actual fact, with careful editing, I'm gonna get this swing filmed from behind or down the line. Yeah, that's pretty good because iron we couldn't get a driver tee in the yeah. ground, so we're playing irons. Yeah, and the second one was that much better, which was good. Yeah. Right, kind of, the whole point of being out here is that we can have a chat as we go round. That's smooth. I'll probably end up falling over while I'm looking through the camera. Now, where'd that first one go, John? Well, here, I think. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay, we'll pick that one up. We'll get and play it from the second one. Keep us moving. Boss, we're out here on a Saturday. Um, and it is winter league day out here, so we're going to have to try and keep moving as best we can because we've got golfers everywhere. Yeah. So John's just retrieving that ball because I will say he got a bit unlucky going under that tree. But we're just going to bring him back out here. But that's kind of what we we're saying. Sometimes even the bad shot ended up probably in a better position than a good one. The good one ended up stuck behind a oh, tree. Definitely. It was actually further. Yeah, 100% so. So you've got a good 200 yards down there, John. So it's okay, wind, winter rules. So put the ball wherever you want it. I just want to just see what you're doing on the grass as opposed to the driving range. So I think every okay, golf... Winter rules, you can pick them up. Yeah. And the point I was going to say, although he's on the rough, but that's fine. We're only playing friendly balls. But the thing I was saying, John, I think every really golf really pro is. would love to do all their lessons on the golf course or on grass. But unfortunately, some of us don't live in Florida. No. Or, or Bahamas. Or, or, or more importantly, have grass practice grounds. So uh, I do tend to do this a hell of a lot anyway, come out on the golf course with players. And it is that reality. And you also get that lovely sound of the club coming off of the turf as well. Down on the right, I think. Oh, nice kick there, Matt. Off the wall. Nice kick straight back into the middle of the fairway, I think. Sometimes you have to ride your luck in this game. Take the rough with the smooth. Absolutely. Back and running, John. Back and running. Okay. Um, again, you've got only about ooh, 40 yards in to the front edge of the green that flags at the front um, the important thing there John when I'm standing behind the camera just watching what you're doing yep and when you replay that video again with your cutting and editing skills you, you'll see that it's actually then quite rushed yeah and I think yeah. we discussed that on the way walking yeah. down to this ball yeah um, 
mentally, one, it's because I've got cameras, so I'm yeah. thinking I'm going to delay people in front, that's yeah. why behind. But actually, that's the way I play as well, because I worry about other people. Yes. So if I'm playing a four ball and they're better than me, I'm yeah. thinking I'm going to take more shots than them. Yeah. So I need to quickly get on with mine, because they're going to be going... Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Because they're up. Yeah. So I've got to kind yeah. of stop rushing yeah definitely definitely and and the nice part when, when you look back at that video i think that last one was just a bit off balance as a result yeah there wasn't as much care and attention as when you was on the range and what, well, i know, think that's another issue that is something that happens isn't it when you go on yeah. the course some of those mindsets go out yes yeah and definitely it's all back to just getting on with the game kind of yeah, thing yeah definitely so but on this one in particular make sure you have enough practice swings yeah to assess the lie I'm going with a 50 because it's downhill. Yeah. Um. And have those practice swings where you really sort of say to yourself, is that how I want to hit the shot? Is that the contact I wanted? Can I visualise that shot working? And then go for it. Right direction, but yeah, one plug. Have you got another one, John? Yeah, have another go. I'll keep an eye out. There's no one behind us. Okay. I was going to say the golf course is busy, but everyone's in front of us now, which is nice. So, again, a couple of practice swings. I'm also on a downhill slope here, which is the big yeah. So, just try and feel you're going with the slope rather than fighting against it. Yeah, yeah. So, John, bearing in mind what we talked about in the last lesson, yeah, were you having yeah. a nervous look back? I was, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right. I don't think there is anyone there. No. But going back to what we said in that last lesson about hitting down more, I just feel that however much people say about, oh, forget the technique and the thoughts and trying to get it more flowing, the nitty gritty said that that club never got low enough. No, so, so again, it kind of rolled it on the ground. Yeah, so in my mind, that says, now hang on, the number one priority has to be hit down and yep. make sure that club does go under the ball one and it's not so much a case of just shouting at you and keep your head down far from it your head could lift up yep. as long as the club head went down but it was almost a game like i've got to get the ball up in the air yeah rather than no you haven't you've got to get the club down under that ball so i think that ties nicely into what i was trying to get across on the previous lesson yeah yeah about this you hit down ball goes up i think that's a good example of however much you talked about the slope and what you're trying to do that was a more of a it was a lifting it was a little bit again i think there's yeah. that fear of this leg being lower than this leg and I've, yes again i've went to that again yeah yeah definitely and it shouldn't if you still be trust yeah. the yeah. trust what you're told and make that divot yeah, yeah, which is the thing. It's strange, I did make a bit of a divot in a practice swing. Yes. And changed it when I went to the ball. Yeah. It went yeah. like that, hit the ball, not throw through Definitely, the ball. definitely. Okay, so okay. we'll find out. And that probably shows you how much of a slope we're on when I hold the camera level. See, it's like getting a camera lesson. <laughs> Here we go. You're not Cecil B. DeMille yet, but... No, I don't know who Cecil is, but I'm definitely not Cecil. Right, John, what are you doing up there? What am I doing down here? Well, I got lucky. You sort of got lucky. It could have gone down there. Hold on, let me pan around. So, yeah, it could have gone all the way down there. Yeah. Um, as it is, it's, you're just about on top of that bank. This is a lovely one why I like coming out on the golf course doing some lessons, because you can never set this one up no. on the range particularly well. So, you've probably got, what, 15 yards to the flag? Yeah. Yeah, so 15 uh, yards. The lie slightly suspicious, i.e. it's below your feet. Yeah. Uh, but your feet are going to be tilted back with the weight on your heels because you're on a slight slope, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's the kind of condition I get on links courses all the time. Yeah, so it really is a case of doing enough practice swings on a similar lie close. Think about where we're trying to land this ball. I'm but trying to play safe and trying to get it to the left-hand side as we see. Yep. Um, because there's not that much on the right hand side, there's an awful lot of rubbish on the right hand side. Okay, right. yep, go for it. And it is all uphill, which it probably again, unless I move, which I don't really want to now, 
for the camera view um, it is quite a bit uphill to back to that flag pin high Matt pin high have you got another ball on you yeah have you put it back on the same lie have another go and again no panicking when the ball's there Yes, it's really weird because it's I never frighten the cameras, but today it's terrible. Cameras and, and you. Um In context though, the lie's suspicious. It's not an easy shot. Which is then what yeah. happens, isn't it? Because it's But this is why we're out here. Then, the first shot went too far. Yeah. But at the same time, John, that's why we're out here. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and the nicest thing is, it's all well and good you sending me the videos, which is great. Yeah. But they are mainly on the driving range. Yeah. So reality says, come on, this is why we're out here. And this is what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, which one are we taking, Matt? Uh, let's take this nearest one, because so we can be green. lazy. Uh, bring it back off the green a bit more towards me. Okay. And give us another chip. Okay. Put off okay. a half decent lie, that's it. And when I say half decent, it is. Now we've got of... the opposite one now because it's now higher than my feet now. Yes. So. But this is winter time, so. Yeah, that's, way. that's a, a thing I have a lot. Yeah. I've noticed that a few other my friends have been playing recently when they're they're filming. It's like. You, you don't commit enough yeah because you're worried that you're gonna get that first one yes and even though you you know you should do more yeah it just goes yeah, 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 yeah. nowhere yeah and that's why maybe the suggestion straight away is and I know I'm wary that it's Saturday and there will be people coming down this hole in a minute but maybe that's where a nine iron eight iron I know yeah, that's a bad off the club. Yeah, just, yeah, just to get it more along the ground, rolling towards the hole. Yeah, but when I mean, you to be honest, if this wasn't quite as long as this, yeah. I'd be putting. Yes, you know, and because and the nicest just, possible. Say, a bad putt is better than a bad chip for me. Yeah, and that lie is quite bad, but yes, there is a huge amount of confidence. Remember, you don't need to have the hand as far ahead, so there should be a little bit of shaft lean to your left, which there is. But really, just try and be a little bit more confident and accelerate through. A lot better, wasn't it? Yeah, and we're within, within six feet. Yeah, which, which is, is really good. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that from there. But that's well, like a lot that better. One, I, even though I didn't probably want to see too much on the camera, but I actually felt, once I hit it, I actually felt I was trying to accelerate, finish a bit more. Yeah, which yeah. is perfect. Not that, not that. No. Stop. And that's exactly why we're here. Okay. So now, ideally, I should be marking this. Should be marking it, just lining it up ever so slightly. We haven't got a marker on it, but lining up with the idea. And it's got to be a left to right putt. Because if I hold that camera level, you might be able to see how I'm kind of thinking it goes up there and then comes in. Definitely. And it's going to be a lot, lot slower than those mighty fine greens down at West Cornwall that you're used to. That was a good putt, and I like the fact it missed high side. Yeah. It's it just hit a little bit too fast through the break. Right, come on, we'll go find another hole. There's another one. Okay. Right, we're on the second hole at Kilio, and John's just getting ready over there. I'll pan around to see him. He's probably thinking about what club to use and hit. Um, so I'll speak a little bit louder so John can hear. So, dog legs down to the right, John. Um, I'm going to go uh, five iron. Yeah. Because these dog legs, are, and I've not played every, the course ever before, so I don't know how far a dog leg is or anything yeah. else. Perfect. And again, remember the major part of being out here, as John just gets ready and goes through his prep, he said that I can see what he does in reality rather than on the range. Um, and if you've ever get the chance to, and one of your friends doesn't mind it's always lovely to get out and video someone playing golf so that they can then see what they're doing as well so back to john 
Okay, and another reason why I'm using uh, irons, and I'm going to check Matt's camera if I just don't trust the fact he's never used it before. Mm -hmm. It's got a red light on it, Matt. Yeah. I should trust you more. Yeah, relax. You'll be good one day. One day. Uh, so the reason I'm actually using irons is predominantly because um, we don't got any teeth for the mats, but also I've not added actually a driver lesson yet, Matt. No, no. So That's on our list of things to do. Yet. List of things to do. Okay, have another go. Yeah. Head then, down, body down, no yeah. lifting up. Yeah, very good, very good. Suddenly the brain went, that's yeah. what we should be doing. Yeah. And that's the nice thing, you know, while we always complain in the winter, the weather's terrible and it's not particularly good out here today. But it does mean if you pick and choose your times well, you can come out of the golf course and hit several Practice. balls. Don't yeah. quote me anyone on that, for you will get banned from your golf clubs. But hit several shots. Yeah, really yeah. using two and yeah, exactly. Up, so. um, and then say to yourself, well, what was that difference between the good one and the bad one? Yeah. Plus, you've got the benefit today of me filming it, so you can and, look and back at I, it. But I know already. The, yeah. you know, the, the first one, even the practices were back with this. You know, still this one yeah. up before that come through. Last one. That was, that was like, you know. More over the ball. Yeah, and I stay looking down. I didn't even look at it, but I know it went all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Absolutely. Only waiting, like, oh, yeah. I thought, oh, yeah, that's where it landed. Yeah. And I think it then goes back to that applying what we'd already talked about in our little video we did earlier. And that was, um, I've lost my train of thought now you've waved into the camera. <laughs> what did we do on that last one? It was applying what we've The warm-up and applying yeah. what we practiced yes, in the lesson, exactly. in the warm-up yeah. to what Precisely. we Precisely. And that's the biggest thing here is there's no point you going out practicing if you're not then trying to do the same things I've asked you to no. do. The downside, of course, is, is you as someone that likes um, listening to advices, you get all this different advice, and then what shall we apply? Um, so the best thing is me coming out and saying, well, actual fact, we have talked about this, and that was probably a classic example about the head against the wall drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. Although at the same time, and again earlier today, I was teaching, and I said to someone that you can actually hit the ball perfectly well with your eyes closed, but that assumes that you know where your strike position is. Yeah. Which yeah, is yeah. the important thing. Yeah. Yeah. So off we go. We'll okay. go find well that second one won't. Okay, Matt. So we, we're not sure of the distance, but we're thinking about 125 or so. Yeah. Um, I'm going with an eight iron. Yeah. And that's because when we did the lesson, and I had lesson afterwards by myself, just practicing, eight iron, 125. Perfect. Okay. When it goes right. Yeah. And if it doesn't, you blame me. No, if it doesn't, it doesn't. But that's but you always got to be positive and go, when it goes right, that's what it's going to be, isn't it? Definitely. And again, you get some idea of the slope we're on when I just level out the camera. One twenty-five, just a bit left. Yeah, yeah. So it's a good, good enough strike. Yeah. Um, and again, you did fall foul of the slope. Lost yeah, a bit of balance. Yeah, definitely fell foul of the slope. I was, I was also trying to get out of the way so you could see the ball yeah. as well. That's a camera thing. Because <laughs> um, otherwise you, I stand here and they go, oh, where's the ball gone? Oh, oh, always that but, perfectionist, you know. Yes, but, it, but, it, but it's right. It's a you know, ball above your feet. That yeah. ball's going to go that way. Yeah, yeah exactly. I should have thought more about yeah. it. Yeah. But I don't know that yet. And, and the nicest possible, you was aiming quite a long way right anyway. Right, okay. So and it, alignment is an issue that we need to discuss at some yeah. point. And again, that's why we're here. Um, what I was going to say is with that slope and you just falling ever so slightly back, it accentuated everything, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah? Um, but that's fine. Okay. Very good. Thank you.
don't know how good that last camera view was though, John. <laughs> fine. I started looking at you and it chatting It's just in my you. apple fuzzum. That'll be yeah. fine, man. <laughs> <So I'm okay. laughs> John, bring something like a nine iron rather than that wedge. Because when we look, we've got that little bit of height elevation difference, but not a lot. We've hit from just the other side of that ditch, I don't know if you can see it, to this point here. And it's unnecessary because we're on a slope, we don't need it going really high. Um, so if you in your mind visualise this one going under the height of the flag, the top of the flag, yep. visually as we look, yeah, okay. lands a good yard on the green, rolls up. So it's a chip and run. Okay, so yeah, so I've gone with a nine iron after your suggestions Perfect. before. Yeah. Like I said sometimes high lofted wedges is just no good for someone my handicap level, really, from that position. Yeah. So. Bit hard, but it landed just the other side. Yeah. Comes back okay. I, I dare say you'll claim that as skill. Oh, no, I claim that as actually okay. Spinning but it off the I bank. <laughs> yeah, but I also appreciate that still distances are yeah. just an issue all yeah. the time. No, I'm already joking with you, keeping it so light to me, I'd be happy. Yeah, the technique was good. It always, and when I think when you look back at this video, John, just at first glance, it was just a bit heavy handed. Yeah. But if we change the words heavy handed to positive, yeah. it was lovely. And, and bearing in mind that we had an issue of deacceleration, Which almost stopping on it on the I previous felt one. It's safer to go with this. Yeah. Because I didn't think he, if I didn't think I would top it. Yes. So I didn't think it would go miles past yeah, if yeah, I was yeah. just steady with it. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So now on this second chance that you got, just go for a little bit more finesse. And that's the only problem when you go to that finesse. Yeah, it it's then, a little bit short. Yeah, yeah, it just needs that bit more. But we'll yeah. play, did you bring your putter over? I'll go and get it, go on. Yeah, go grab the putter. We'll have a little putt while we're here. It's just wait, there's mm. no chats, is there? So. Yeah, and, and the point you just missed, because I didn't have the camera on, was yes, if it goes past, it's got a chance <laughs> of going in. If we're short, it's never going to go in. Chance. Absolutely. Uh, plus, also, if you were really watching the ball and how it reacted to the slope, you know where this next putt's going to break. Yeah. So I reckon it's slightly to the left. Yeah. To your right. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And for the first time ever, John, you'll laugh when you look back at this video. You've got a bit of force perspective. Yeah. yeah. In terms of, you're actually smaller than that flag. It'll look like we've got a giant flag. You can fall close farther away. Exactly. Ten, please watch the episode. Yeah. yeah. You watch this, I think you'll laugh when, especially if you hole it, car. It'd be a good one to hole. No, I've not lined it up, because actually I think it's on a pretty good line already. Yeah, okay. Mark it. Perfect. So that's interesting. That confused me that, because I thought we were going to go this way. Yeah. You didn't type anything, which is fine. No, and exactly right, because I was thinking, well, you obviously can see something I can't see. Yeah. 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 Um, but again, and this is the advantage, and it's a good thing when we go to different courses and play, it says my putting stroke might actually be quite good. Yeah, it's my, not, a, not a bad pace. Yeah, it's pace right was area. spot on, uh, yeah. and it would have gone past the height it had been straight, but the reed let you down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but the technique looked okay for now. And yeah. you said that before, that a lot of people play on the same course all the time. Yep. They know the greens, and is it actually because they're good at putting, or they know the greens? Yes, they know exactly. So let's see if you can finish this one off. Okay, so we would have a marker, we haven't got one, but... Yeah, that's fine. Because this, to a large degree, marks whether this is an 18 handicap or the current handicap, doesn't it, yeah? Yeah. One off the tee, two other side of the bunker, three with the chip up, four's down, this goes in for a five, it's a bogey, which is done, 
and it's an 18 handicap and before anyone says yeah but that was a short hole some are short some are long yeah, yeah. but normally um, i get two shots on most things exactly so it's a nice one and we're always going to accept the fact there will be some longer holes next hole this way <laughs> 